Hello everyone. Today we will discuss that what is phase and phase difference. But before this, let me tell you the different type of waves and the arrangement of angle on various waves. Types of waves. So the first type is plus sine wave. The plus sine wave basically start from origin i mean start from origin from zero and it reaches to its maximum at 90 degrees this is zero degree and the peak is 90 degrees where its value is one here at zero degree its value is one this is plus sine wave so it and the sine wave at zero degree its value is zero because you can see that this is the origin if you consider it to be an orthogonal orthogonal coordinate system here it, it is taking start from origin so its value or zero degree is also zero so at 90 degree you can see that at peak is at 90 degree which is plus one and after that it goes on decreasing and zero 90 and then this point is 180 degrees and again at sine again at 180 degrees sine reduces to 0 degree 0 a magnitude of the sine wave reduces to 0 so here its magnitude is again 0 and at the point of 270 degrees the third point is 270 degree it is minus 1 so here you can see that the value this is basically 270 degrees and the magnitude over here is minus 1 and after adding lambda by 4 to this that wave is which gives us 360 degrees which is also zero in magnitude so now let's explain the same wave in term of lambda basically the whole cycle is one wavelength i.e lambda this is only lambda but if i divide the whole wave or the whole cycle into segment of two you can see that I will achieve over here lambda by 2 at the point of 180 degrees so it means that lambda by 2 equal to 180 degrees these two are basically same thing but if I further divide or split this wave into segment of 4 it will give us lambda divided by 4 and the 90 degree is word basically lambda divided by 4 so the first segment that is visible to you is lambda by 4 plus lambda by 4 which is lambda divided by 2 here you can see but if I further add lambda divided by 2 it gives us 3 lambda divided by 2 and at the end it gives us 360 degree which is only lambda this is not basically an ordinary wave but this wave gives us a lot of information about the sine function how we can come to know that what is the value of sine when I have a specific argument like let's suppose someone ask you that what is the value of sine 90 degrees you can simply interpret this wave and you can find the value of sine wave from this from here that at 90 degree it is 1 someone ask you what is the value of sine at 360 degrees so you can see or here the value of 360 degree uh, 360 degree the sine function gives us zero this 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 is basically origin or x axis usually we refer to so this is or here the value of sine is zero now let's talk about minus sine wave Here the wave was starting from plus zero point this is plus zero but if the same wave we flip like we take its mirror image then it will be taking start from minus zero and will tracing just like this let me demonstrate it Here you can see your wave is taking start from minus zero so this type of wave when at first maximum 
gives us the value of minus 1 this is basically a minus sine wave it is taking start from 0 degrees and at 90 degrees its value is minus 1 and this is the first point is 0 degree the second point where it gives us the peak the peak is at minus 1 so here at value at 90 degree is minus 1 at 180 degrees its value is again 0 and at 270 degrees its value is plus 1 and at 360 degrees it again reaches to 0 so we can see that the plus sine wave uh, sorry the minus sine wave is the mirror image of plus sine wave it means that their values are totally opposite to one another now we will look at plus cos wave and minus cos wave so here is plus cos wave you know that cos 0 is 1 and cos 180 degrees is minus 1 you may know these values so now let graphically interpret that what does it mean the cos view basically start from at peaks it mean that at 0 degrees it will give us the value of plus 1 so here you can see at cos function the argument when its argument is 0 when its argument is 0 it gives us the value of plus 1 so the cos will take start from plus 1 and at 90 degrees it gives us 0 you can see at 270 degrees it gives us minus 1 and at 360 degrees it again gives us 0 so this is basically what this is plus cos wave and here you can also write that cos 360 sorry 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 this is not 360 this is not 270 this is basically 180 degrees this is 180 degrees where it giving us the value of minus 1 and this is 270 degrees where it's giving us the value of uh, 180 degree it is minus 1 it cause so here it reaches to the same point where it has been started this is again plus 1 so at 360 degrees it gives us the value of plus 1 same is the case for minus sine wave or minus cos wave minus cos view basically gives us the value of minus 1 at 0 degrees this is 0 degrees and at 0 degrees it gives us the value which is minus 1 this is 0 degrees and its value is minus 1 and this is 90 degrees its value is 0 and this is 180 degrees its value is plus 1 and this is to 70 degrees where again reaches to 0 and if we add 90 degrees it will reaches to 360 degrees so this is 360 degrees which is again it is minus 1 so this is a complete cycle which we usually refer to as lambda so now let's talk about what is phase phase is basically 
any angle on a view that specifies the magnitude and direction of a view. It means that phase is basically an angle that specifies the magnitude and direction of a wave. Consider the plus sign wave. Basically, the plus sign wave I have told you earlier that it takes start from 0 degrees and reaches to its maximum value and then again uh, decreases to 0 and then again uh, after completing the cycle it reaches to the point where it has been taken start. So this is 0 degrees where it is where, it is, where its magnitude is 0 and this is what the point where it gives us the peak and the angle over here is 90 degrees and the point where it's giving us the maximum value that is its peak which is plus 1. Here at 180 degrees it gives us again 0 and at 270 degrees it is minus 1 and at lambda or 360 degrees it is 0. So now is clear from definition that an angle that specifies the magnitude and direction of a wave it means that it is an angle that giving us the magnitude and direction it gives us two type of information first is what is the direction of a wave and second is what is the magnitude of a specific wave on specific angle so you can see over here that this is plus 9 uh, sorry this is 90 degrees where the value is plus 1 so we can guess the direction of a wave from the angle that is phi at the point let's say this is point p this is point p phi at point p is 90 degrees which gives us direction secondly i have mentioned that it gives us the magnitude of a wave as well for magnitude you can see at 90 degrees the value on a wave is plus 1 so here we write plus 1 so this is basically two type of, form of information that we have just got from phase so the phase gives us two type of information for first is magnitude and the second is direction. This was all about phase and now we will talk about what is phase difference. So the phase difference is basically the angle difference between any two waves is called phase difference. is called phase difference it's called phase difference consider the following two waves first is plus sign wave and the second is plus cos wave. So in order to find the phase difference between any two views, what you need to do, you need to find a common point or a same point on both the view. Consider this is the first peak of wave number one that is plus sign view and this is the first peak of wave number 2 that is plus cos wave so here you can see at 0 degrees it gives us the value of 
plus sorry zero at zero degree the plus sign wave gives us the value of zero and the same wave is giving us the value of plus one at zero degrees so now what we can conclude from this wave you can see the first peak of this wave is the point is that is this point which is let's say this is p and the first peak of this wave is let's say p1 so you can see this wave is giving us plus 1 at 90 degrees and the wave 2 is giving us the same value i.e. the plus 1 at 0 degrees so now how can we find the phase difference between these two waves the phase difference will become 90 degrees minus this is 0 degrees which becomes 90 degrees so the phase difference between the plus sine wave and the plus cos wave is 90 degrees here is another example for you to be practice that is wave 1 is plus sine wave and wave 2 is minus cos wave so first you need to find a point which have the same magnitude that is the first peak of the wave 2 is this point this is B and the first peak of this wave which is wave 1 is plus 1 and I call it A here you can see the plus 1 is at the angle of 90 degrees and the plus 1 of this wave is 0 degrees 90 degrees and this is what 180 degrees 0 90 180 degrees so at 180 degrees it gives us the magnitude of plus 1 so plus 1 is we have obtained from both the wave a different angle so now we can find the phase difference is phase difference is equal to 180 degrees minus sorry minus 90 degrees this will give us the phase difference of 90 degrees but you can also find the same answer just like this consider the first valley the first valley of the v1 is at to 70 degrees this is 9 90 degrees 0 degrees 90 degrees to 70 what sorry 180 and 270 and this is minus 1 at 270 degrees and the first value of this wave is starting from here that is 0 degrees again the first value of this wave is at 270 degrees and the first decreasing value of I mean the first decreasing value of this wave 1 is at 270 degree and the first decreasing value of the wave 2 is 0 de sorry 0 degrees 90 degrees 180 degrees 270 and 360 degrees so you can find the phase difference by another method like you can considering you are considering the point or uh, that is value so this is 360 degrees minus and this is to 70 degrees gives us the same answer of 90 degrees thank you